the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 62, Deuteronomy 10 to 11. A land that relies on me. God demanded the people of Israel not to forget the grace shown in Exodus and the desert life, but to keep and obey the laws given by him through Moses. First point. The obedience of the Mana generation only lasted until their generation. The Mana generation lived in the desert for 40 years and during that time, they were able to learn thoroughly about God's laws and what God expected from them. What God wanted from them was their obedience, their love, and for them to serve Him. Most unfortunately, the Mana generation ended their obedience in their generation. They themselves proved to be different to their parent generation, but it is such a shame that they failed to educate their own children. Second point, how the next few generations turn out is closely connected to the behavior and teaching of the parents. The Bible records the people who succeeded in educating their children. The first is Abraham, who showed this during his offering of Isaac to God. Isaac was ultimately able to work his life with God because of this. The second is Jacob in his later years. He succeeded in educating his children about God in Egypt. The third is David. He was successful in teaching his son Solomon about the laws in the kingdom of priests. It is so important for parents today to practice Shema. Third point, the Ark of the Covenant had to be taken from the desert to Canaan. There was not much the Mana generation had to take with them to Canaan from the desert. Canaan was a land flowing with milk and honey, and there really was not much need to take anything from the desert. But there was one thing that they had to take. This was the Ark of the Covenant. God had given the tabernacle to the Israel people during the year on Mount Sinai. Among the tabernacle, the most important thing was the ark. This was because the ark symbolized God's presence. God told the people that three things symbolized God's presence. They were the two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments, the pottery with the manna inside it, and Aaron's boarding staff. As commanded by Joshua, the first stage of entering Canaan was for the Levites to carry the tabernacle and to lead the way. The ark was the first to enter Canaan and it was to be kept in the most sacred and important place. Fourth point, the experience as a slave and as a foreigner became the foundation for the people of Israel. Out of the 613 laws given to the Israelites, the opening was, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. From this, we can learn how God made the experience of the people as slaves and as foreigners their foundation. Later, Jesus expanded from this topic of foreigners and taught that we should love our enemies. Fifth point, obeying is a way for God's will to be achieved. The way for the Israel people to cultivate their land and to eat their produce was by God sending them rain. God told them that rain would be their blessing and the condition that they obeyed his commands. When they entered Canaan, they were to live by God's command and enjoy his blessing. 
This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story, and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.